Howdy, howdy, Legends! Apex Legends caster Zephyr here with another Pro Guide to Apex Legends video. Ash is one of the more recently buffed Legends in Apex, but she is roundedly disregarded as a strong Apex Legend by almost all players. But what does Ash have to offer, and why should you be abusing her in your Apex games? Stay with us for a rundown of her abilities, some tips and tricks on how to use her most effectively, and a bit of backstory on where Ash sits in the Apex Legends universe. But before that, do you want 11,500 Apex coins to spend on Bangalore skins, Apex packs, and more? We're going to give one lucky Pro Guide subscriber Apex coins every four weeks this season. All you have to do is like this video and subscribe to the Pro Guide's Apex Legends channel. Then, click the link in the description and sign up to ProGuides.com, subscribing for $9.99 a month. And then, comment your Pro Guide's username in the comment section below. We're going to announce the winner at the end of the month. One of the biggest benefits about playing Ash is undoubtedly her place in the Assault class. This class is by far the most powerful and most enjoyable class for the average player. While some classes, like the Controller class, are valued more by super sweaty pro players, for enjoying pubs or W King some ranked, the Assault class has a lot to offer. But why is the class so powerful? The Assault class simply helps you get kitted out, carry more items, and therefore be more effective in fights. The salt bins around the map provide you smart loot. They always have a guaranteed scope as well. Not having a scope can be one of the most frustrating and limiting things in Apex Legends. And because it's smart loot, you're not going to get a scope you can't use. Saving time on looting, being able to loot a little, and then hit an assault bin and get juiced weapons isn't just convenient, but it makes the game more fun. Apex games are pretty fast paced these days and no one likes looting for half the game, then aimlessly wandering around trying to find one of the three squads that's left. Getting into the action is a theme with Ash's kit, so stay tuned for more on how she can make your Apex games faster paced. Then the Assault class has also additional ammo stacks in your backpack. You can carry 80 instead of 60 per backpack slot. Now, we don't suggest using this as a way to carry all the ammo. Instead, think of it as freeing up slots for other items. You still only need something like 240 to 300 ammo for your primary weapon and 120 to 180 for your secondary. Obviously, shotguns and snipers are a bit different. This means that you have extra backpack slots for things like nades and heals. Having extra batteries can be very powerful in Ash because you'll want to play aggressively. But well-placed grenades can be a game changer in fights. Someone sat in a knockdown shield playing like a total loser? A quick thermite grenade will sort that right out. So, load up on those grenades and extra heals and really reap the benefits of Ash being in the assault class. We mentioned that Ash is a great legend for getting right into the action, and here's why. Her passive ability, Marked for Death, is almost handcrafted to help you have significantly less boring Apex matches. This passive ability shows you the location of every single death on the map. Just to be clear, only full deaths show up, not anyone who gets knocked. What this means is that you can head straight to the action. And yes, the survey beacon that recon characters can hit allows you to find people too, but then you trade out all the benefits of the assault class that we just spoke about. So, use this passive to find fights in the map and get right into the action. Huge fight at checkpoint? You can head straight there. Now, if you're playing ranked, this can also be a great third-party tool. Unsure which rotate to take into zone? Ash's passive ability can show you where there could be an easy fight to take. Plus, if you're super down bad, technically this is also a great ability to find death boxes to loot too. Ash's tactical was the recipient of a recent buff, so let's recap those changes. Firstly, her tether has had its cooldown decreased from 25 to 20 seconds. On top of that, the snare's travel speed has been increased from 700 to 1200, which will make it significantly easier to use and to hit your target. And finally, tether activation delay and snare growth time have been decreased by 50%, which will make it easier to fire the snare accurately instead of completely missing your foe. Now, I'm gonna keep it real. This does not make the ability some uber broken, super powerful secret to winning your games, but it does massively improve the ability, making it usable. Do you make this common mistake with Ash Tether? It can be tempting to just launch it at enemies as an entry, but you have to be able to capitalize on the tether. It works really well to catch someone out at close range, preventing them from getting behind cover, preventing them from running away, or even preventing them from coming through a doorway or corridor. It can be a great escape tool as well. If you're being chased down, throw the tether behind you, and it could buy you some additional time to get ahead of your pursuer. 
you also need to think about who you target with your tether. A Wraith, for instance, could phase out of the ability. A Newcastle or Gibby could shield themselves, but catch a Bloodhound, a Seer, or a Watson, and it could be a free kill. You could also consider taking advantage of all those extra grenades you're carrying thanks to the Assault class and throw a grenade after the tether. This would be a deadly wombo combo, preventing the enemy player from escaping the explosion. Ash's ultimate ability phase breach is very hard to master, but here's how you can totally make the most of this aggressive portal. Now, you heard the word portal and everyone immediately thinks of Wraith, but this ability is totally different. For a start, it is a one-way portal, and it can only be placed in a straight line. That means you won't be using this ability to maneuver across POIs. The phase breach is for aggressive repositioning. And it can be tricky to line up, but this is something that Respawn have worked on during several updates. It still is worth heading into the firing range to get used to lining up and executing the placement. Why? Because you have to be fast. The optimum use for this ability is to close the distance to finish a kill or a fight. It can be great to move vertically, knock someone on the roof of the construction building and fragment. You can ash portal up towards the roof instead of taking the zip line. It does have a limited range of just over 60 meters, but that does allow you to close the gap from at least mid-range. It lasts for about 15 seconds, so that will give your teammates time to follow up, but optimally, you'll be grouped up and take the portal as a team. You can use this ability simply to reposition. Taking height or moving across an open space is still a pretty strong use for the Ash portal. However, the portal is fairly easy to track. This is not an escape tool. You could see where the portal is ending before you come through it, allowing for plenty of time for pre-aim at the end of the portal. Many an Ash player has died when trying to portal away. Think aggression. Take space, take positions, and close the gap on your opponents with the phase breach. And please, just remember, you cannot take this portal back in the opposite direction. Now that we've ran through some of Ash's gameplay mechanics, let's briefly touch on her history in the Apex Legends games. Ash is human, but in a robot body. She's a character well known to Titanfall fans and is responsible for Horizon being sent into space and not being able to see her son again. Pretty cheery, right? Well, Ash was part of the group that developed Pathfinder, so remember, when you get grappled on by a Pathfinder, technically that's Ash's fault. What if there was an assault bin full of Apex Legends tips, tricks, and guides, tailored to what you need to support your development as an Apex player? That'd be neat, right? Pro Guides has a wide range of Apex, Predator, and Pro-level players who can deliver tailored coaching to help you rank up. Plus, a range of master classes and boot camps can supercharge your ability. To unlock your assault bin of Apex Legends coaching for just $9.99 a month, head to ProGuides.com and shoot up those leaderboards. So, now you're the expert at Ash and all things aggression. Let us know in the comments how you get on with her in your games, and let us know who you'd like to see us create a guide for next. I've been Zephyr, we've been Pro Guides, and until next time.